Hey guys, what's up? I'm back at you with another South Park episode review. This is actually my second take at it. This time I'm gonna do, um... Corn's Groovy Pirate Ghost... Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the um, episode title a little bit wrong. It's called Corn's Groovy Pirate Ghost Mystery, or whatever it was called. I think that was what it was called. I have to look it up. But, um, before we go any further into this video, um, I want to make a note that, um... I now have a SouthParkStudios.com website. Um, I just signed up today. Um, I'll put the link down to the Southwest Park, the, not Southwest Park. Um, that's my fan fiction. Um, SouthParkStudios.com, so that way you guys can. <clears throat> they pretty much got every episode, every clip ever possible of South Park. Anything you want, you can find it there. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started on the episode. Um, this episode is actually the South Park Halloween special. Um, <clears throat> the, the, the intro is kind of a little bit of a giveaway. But, um... <clears throat> um <clears throat> kind of opens with Stan, Kyle, and Kenny, and Carmen just busy on the beach on the uh, shore. Just, you know, checking it out. And then the fifth graders scare him with a, uh... Ghost mannequin. Um... Ignore that rattling sound, that's just my dog. Um, they, um, they then decide to get revenge on the, on the, four, on the fifth graders by digging up a dead body and then, um, then, you know, using it. And apparently they decide to go with Kyle's recently deceased grandmother, Cleo Broflovsky. And by the way, if I've said Broflovsky, ignore that. Don't bother leaving me any you pronounce it wrong comments. I've finally figured out how to pronounce it correctly, so that's a little warning to you. Anyway, um, Kenny then starts going on saying, I've got the best costume, you know, it's gonna, I'm gonna win, you won't recognize me. And then anyway, the band Korn's gonna come and play, and then Father Max, you know, saying that they're a, a disgrace to Halloween, and the whole Holloway's just, Holloway's just a disgrace. And then, while Korn is driving to the, is driving there, um, they have a run-in with the pirate ghosts. Apparently they run off the road, and then they run into the kids again. All that crap. Um, the day of the festival, they, they go there, they tune up, and apparently, um, C C Cartman starts get, forgetting about Halloween. He doesn't care about it anymore. He starts caring about Christmas. And, um, surprisingly, there is something he didn't do. He didn't make fun of Kyle having to celebrate Hanukkah, which is kind of a first, if, you say, if I say so myself. Although, I'm not sure why it is that for me for some reason, but it is. Um, <clears throat> um... Anyway, um, they then start going on this, anyway, um, they arrive there and they have their costumes on, um, surprisingly Carmen didn't show up in a costume, he's actually caring about Christmas now, and, um, I actually can guarantee this because he gets a catalog in the mail and he starts circling everything he wants, and then a couple days later his mom gets a package from that catalog company, he thinks it's a gift for him, and it's in a blow-up Antonio Banderas doll, which he thinks is one of his gifts, early. Now, um, Kyle and Stan's costumes were kind of weak, and they were a little bit different, too. Um, Kyle dressed up as a clown, and Stan was a cowboy. Um, something they did was they were wearing their, their regular clothes underneath, but they weren't wearing their traditional pants. Um, Kyle was wearing a light blue pants that you usually see on the plush toys, and Stan was wearing, like, a light gray pair. But something else you could recognize if you look close enough, um, if you look really close underneath, um... Kyle's Yushanka, which is that green hat he always wears, um, if you look hard enough, you can see some of his hair, because, um, I'm assuming what he did was he probably rolled his hair down, sideways, down at the sides of his head, and then put his hat on, and to kind of smush it down, but he probably had to use, like, some hair clips or something to hold it in place, or he could have used some gel, I don't know which one it is, but one of the two, or then again, he could have just got a complete haircut, um, and anyway, Kenny's costume is actually pretty kick-ass, and he dresses up as the Enforcement Droid Series 209 from Robocop, or the Ed 209, as some of us call it. Anyway, um, Korn and the guys start going off on this crazy quest to figure out what's with the pirate ghost that caused the film festival to be cancelled. Not film festival, it's a festival. And they figure out it's actually Father Maxi, um, who's been doing it all the time. The episode ends with the costume contest winner actually being, um... 
um, Wendy for her Chewbacca costume, which she wore in the first Christmas special episode, um, Chewbacca, which is kind of weird. And then the last, and then, um, Kenny's killed by some mini snow speeders because they think he's an ATST walker, which was kind of funny to watch. And, um, you know, it was actually kind of like the real thing, and even like, sometimes something he'd do is like, uh, when he'd walk up, they would just go, hey, Kenny. It's like, he said they wouldn't recognize him, but they ended up doing it anyway. Um, I was going to say this episode for the, um, for, um, Halloween, but, um, I would have forgotten. I didn't get any photos, but, um, I've got quite a couple of South Park photos on here, so four of them to be exact. My most recent one, if any of you guys are wondering if it'll come out on camera, which I doubt it will. If you can see it, it's Kyle Hatless from that episode, How to Eat With Your Butt. I'm surprised I haven't done that episode yet. I will, if you guys remind me sometime soon, like, if I haven't done any South Park episode reviews in a while, and I say I'm running out of ideas, remind me to do that one. I remember it pretty well. Um... Hopefully, I can get more South Park episode reviews in. I get two more tonight. Yeah, two more. I don't remember exactly what they are, but, um, yeah. Uh, I guess that's really about it. Um, just like, um, all my South Park reviews, check out the stand of my Kyle, Chris Piana Lee. Subscribe to him. Link is down there in the description. And then check out my, my, uh, thing on SouthParkStudios.com. Again, I'll put the link to SouthParkStudios.com down there in the description. I guess that's really it. Later, guys. I'm out of here.